This video is going to show you how to use the Video Note tool in D2L. Video Note is a tool that allows you to use your webcam to record short videos that will stream automatically in D2L. No need to worry about file size, file type, or uploading the videos to YouTube to get them to play easily in the course. Video Note is accessible to faculty and students anywhere that you can access the HTML editor tool. For faculty, this could be in the news area, in the content area, in the discussion board, in grade feedback, etc. For students, this will primarily be in the discussion board or in the comments area of their Dropbox assignments. For this example, I'll be submitting a video note as a student to the Dropbox, but the same process is going to apply to any of the other scenarios I just mentioned. Here on the Dropbox screen, notice that I do have a record video button and I could use that to submit a video to the Dropbox using the video note technology. But I want to demonstrate the HTML editor process since it's more universal throughout D2L, so I'm not going to go the record video button route. Instead, I'm going to click the very first button in the HTML editor, which I can see when I hover my mouse over it is called insert stuff. I'm going to click that and then select Video Note from the list of options here on the left if it's not already checked. Now here is where your computer may look slightly different than mine depending on your webcam, your computer, or your browser. Basically, you have to tell your computer that it's okay for D2L to access your webcam. On my computer here, I have to click Allow once or maybe twice to get my camera to work, but your computer might be totally different, particularly if you're using a MacBook or a laptop with a built-in webcam. You can also click on this flash settings button. Let me cancel this for just a second. You can also click on this flash settings link and here you can select allow. You can also mess with the audio and I'm actually going to choose a different input microphone. And I could choose a different webcam if I had different options here. Once I have these settings like I need them, then I click close. Once you have allowed D2L to access your webcam and close the flash settings, you're ready to record your video note, which you'll start doing by pressing the record button. Now we're recording this video note. Video notes can be up to five minutes, and while you cannot edit a video note, you can re-record it as many times as you want before it's submitted or published. Stop. I can play it back to see if I like it. I don't like it. I can clear it and restart over if I want to. Now I can re-record the video. And whenever I'm finished with the take that I like, I click Stop. Then I click Next. And then here I need to give my video a title. We're just going to call this one Test. And a description if you'd like. Click Next again. Here's my video note. I can preview it by clicking Play. Then click Insert. And now my video note has been added here to the HTML editor box. Before we finish up this video note, you should also notice that you have the option of uploading a video you've already recorded to the video note tool. Let's take a look at that. Here in the upload file area, notice that it says the file format must be an MP4, an FLV, an F4V, or an MOV file. Kind of limits your options, and it says file size can be no larger than 5 megabytes. So you can upload videos, though they have to be very small and they have to be certain file types. You can also upload videos from your phone or an iPad using this tool. For now, I'm just going to click Cancel. Once you have your video added to the HTML editor box, then depending on what part of D2L you're in, you might click Submit or Publish or Save. To add this to the Dropbox, I'm going to have to add a file of some sort. So I'm going to go ahead and just upload kind of a dummy document file. If you're doing this for a class and your instructor doesn't give you any recommendations, I would just recommend uploading a Word document file that maybe had your name and the name of your video and, and just a little information about that into D2L, and then click Submit. And now when your instructor goes to grade your assignment, they'll be able to see the video that you created. That, in short, is the Video Note tool. Remember, it's a tool that is possible to be used all throughout D2L. Here you can see some examples of videos that were created as news items. They play right here within D2L. I didn't have to upload them into YouTube. I didn't have to do anything else with them other than record them or upload them using the Video Note tool.